Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the introduction to polygon. So what is polygon? A polygon is a closed figure formed by three or more line segments joined at their endpoints. So how can we say that a figure is a polygon or not? So these are the examples of polygon and a not polygon. So remember, when we say polygon, it is a closed figure formed by three or more line segment. Remember that each line segment is called the side of the polygon and each endpoint where the side meet is called the vertex of the polygon. The endpoints of a side of the polygon are called consecutive vertices. A diagonal of a polygon is a line segment joining two non-consecutive vertices. Remember, when we say consecutive, magkasunod. Okay? Now, let's have this example. So, these line segments are called the side of the polygon. And if I'm going to name each side of the polygon, this side is a line segment NL. This one is line segment LE. This one is a line segment EA. This one is a line segment AR. And this one is a line segment RN. So remember, pwedeng magpalitan or pwedeng mag-interchange yung kanilang name. Next, this one is what we call the vertex of a polygon. So, if I'm going to name this vertex, the name of this vertex is L or point L, E, A, R, and N. So, that are the name of that vertex. And if we are going to name the angles of a polygon, the name of that is angle L, angle E, angle A, angle R, and angle N. Or you can name it using the three letters, using the side, vertex, side. Okay? Next, so when we say a pair of consecutive side, when we say consecutive, magkasunod, so ano ba yung side? Ito yon. So when we say uh, consecutive side, one of the example is side NL or line segment NL and line segment LE. So, that are the example of consecutive. Pero marami pa dyang consecutive side sa. So, si N, NL and LE, pwede rin si LE and EA, pwede si EA and AR, or AR and RN, or RN and NL. So, that are the consecutive sides. So, pag sinabi natin consecutive sides, magkasunod na sides. Now, next is a pair of consecutive vertices. So, again, consecutive, magkasunod. Vertices. So, ano ba yung mga vertex natin dyan? So, one of the example is L and E. Pero again, hindi lang po yan yung sagot dyan. Pwede yung LE, EA, AR, RN, NEL, or pwedeng baliktaran yan, ha? Pwede. Okay, next. A pair of consecutive angles. So, same. So, pwede natin gamitin si angle L and angle E, or angle E and angle A, angle A and angle R, angle R and angle N, or angle N and angle L. So, ang mga nilagay ko lang dito are examples, pero marami pa dyang possible na answers. Next, diagonal. So, pag sinabi natin diagonal, ito ay line segment joining two non-consecutive vertices. So, again, non-consecutive vertices. Hindi daw sila magkasunod na vertex. So, alin dyan? So, the diagonal in this figure are line segment LA, line segment ER, Line segment AN, line segment RL, and line segment NE. So, that are the diagonals in this figure. 
Remember that a polygons are classified by the number of sides. So these are the type of polygons according to the number of sides. If the given polygon has three sides, that is what we call triangle. Four sides, that is quadrilateral. Five sides, that is pentagon. Six sides, that is hexagon. Seven sides are heptagon. Eight sides are octagon. Nine sides are nonagon. Ten sides are decagon. Eleven sides is andecagon or hendecagon. Twelve sides are the decagon. And if the sides of the given polygon is more than 12, that is endgon. So that's all for this video. Next lesson, I'm going to teach you about the convex and non-convex polygon. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone!